All right, I just washed all my brushes, so I thought now would be a perfect time to do a grooming box tour. I like the Dura Tote grooming tote. Um, it's hard, rigid, does a great job. All the brushes stay in place. So we'll just work from one side to another. This is the Grooma Broad Stroke brush. This is also a bit of a product review. I've been using all these brushes at least five years, so I can tell you what works and what doesn't. It does a great job on the face and the legs. It works up the loose hair really well and is very soft. The horse is barefoot, so I also use the Rider's Rasp between official trims. And it does a great job. It doesn't take much skill and you can just spend a few minutes as you're picking out the feet and that works great. I have a plastic curry. This is great in the winter with a long thick winter coat or cleaning other brushes uh, as you're grooming. So you can just run your body brush through the plastic curry. This also has a hose attachment so you can use it for bathing and it helps you rinse out the coat really well. I have Wonder Dust for wounds. It does a fantastic job of getting things to heal really quickly. I have some eye wipes. These I have not used much. Um, they were an award, so I don't have a whole lot of opinion on them yet. This is my pulling comb. I like the one with the wooden handle much better than the one without. Um, causes my fingers to cramp less if I'm pulling a long mane. I have rubber bands to tame his mane, train it over. This is, you may recognize this, this is the pumice stone for grooming. I am not thrilled with it. It leaves pumice dust in your hands, and my coat, my horse's coat, is a little too thick for it to work very well. This is the ultimate hook pick. It is a fantastic hook pick. It will not bend. It will not break. It's great if a horse pulls. <laughs> ends up with a stone in his hoof, or if you have really hard adobe and it gets really compressed into uh, the hoof. So it's fabulous. It costs $14, which I thought was rather steep, but it does a great job. My only complaint is it does not have a brush on the end. So for that reason, I keep this one around and I use the brush on this hoof. I have fly spray for the face roll on, both Endure, which was $10, and the German Dio Lotion, which does a great job and is all natural. And I believe, yes, this was $11, and this does a really nice job. I use Equispot, which does work really well but it can get kind of expensive and if you give your horse a bath or rinse them off it does wash off but it does a great job thrush off which is fantastic for thrushy feet this is a sample size again it's really expensive but it does work really well i love all the sore no more products uh, Sornomer Liniment with Arnica Gel. I've used it on myself too. Anything for bruises or trauma or soreness, I think it works. I think it's the best product out there. So that's $21. I've been using it for years. I have a weight tape. A little bit of Corona ointment. Um, this ointment is extremely annoying in terms of it will come off when you apply it, but what is annoying about it is also great. So if you have a horse in pasture and you need to put ointment on and you want it to stay on, use Corona. If it's going to drive you crazy washing it off your hands, put on gloves first or use a tongue depressor to apply it. That works really well. 
right. Switch sides. So this is my body brush. It's a very nice horsehair, medium stiff brush. It's from Germany. I don't know if you can make out that label. Can't remember the brand. My only complaint is I am an adult, but the strap is huge. So it's a little large, it's a little hard to hold, but the quality of the brush is great. This is the Easy Care brush. It is a dual stiff synthetic brush and soft horsehair brush. So if you're short on time, you can just use this brush. It does a good job. I really enjoy grooming, so if I have time, I prefer to use multiple brushes, but if I'm short on time, this does work quite well. This is a small medium stiff brush. It has horse on it. I originally bought it as a show brush because all my show brushes are smaller so they don't take up much space, but it does a great job on the body and on the face if your horse is not too sensitive. My horse is not, so he's fine with this on the face. It's about a medium soft. This is a Champion Brush horsehair brush in plaid. I adore plaid. It's been a great great brush. It's about seven years old and this fits my hand a little bit better. So it, um, it's just great summer body brush, face brush. It's a little too soft in the winter for the thick winter coat, but um, it does a great job. This is a Tail Tamers soft touch, soft touch brush. It's good hair. It is honestly too soft. In fact, it's still damp, which is not a problem, but it's too soft for my horse. It works really well on my friend's horse, who's super sensitive and she, her mare won't tolerate anything, so this does a great job. I have a shedding blade, which you can also use just as a sweat scraper. Metal curry comb for, in the winter, scraping off mud of heavy winter coat. And... It also does a good job of cleaning the hair out of the other brush, like that. This is a mane and tail comb, which has seen better days. It was an award. All, it's about three years old, and all the pins have been pulled out. I really prefer the Oster mane and tail brush but mine is not in here currently. So this side's still in good shape, this side is not. This is my curry comb. I don't know who, dis who the distributor is on this curry comb. It has a knob and it's great. It does a fantastic job of curing and it's only like two dollars. So if you like the Gruma large round curry, this one, I think, does an even better job, and it's cheaper. And you just hold it like that, and it works really well. This is what I think is absolutely the best mane and tail detangler on the market. This is Cantor, and it actually moisturizes, and it leaves this, the mane and tail incredibly soft, and if your horse is out in pasture or in a stall and can pick up shavings, it does a fabulous job of, you can just pull them right out of the tail with your hands and it's a wonderful product. I also keep hoof moisture and Horseman's Dream ointment for cuts and scrapes because I like the smell and it goes on better than the Corona, but honestly the Corona does a great job. Um, I just use this as well. That's it. That's everything in my groom box. Thank you.